Councilmember Preston Worley here with Fire Chief Jason Wells at Fire Station 21 to talk about a very important program our fire department puts on for our community, the Child Safety Seat Program. You can bring your uh, child safety seat to be inspected and installed by our firefighters at six different locations in the community. My wife and I have just welcomed home a newborn baby boy and we're so excited about it, but we want to make sure that our car seat and our car is as safe as possible. Chief, you want to talk about that at Absolutely. all? Absolutely. Congratulations, by the way, on your new addition. So that's Absolutely. wonderful. It's exciting for all of us. So uh, for more than two decades now, the Lexington Fire Department has offered a child safety seat installation program. I actually became a car seat tech uh, over 20 years ago and learned uh, how to put that in. And you would not believe what all is involved in properly installing a child safety seat so we're happy to be able to provide this service for the community and I'm really really excited and I thank you for allowing us the opportunity to sort of highlight uh, that program and hopefully we'll be able to make uh, the children in Fayette County safer absolutely so firefighter Berger is one of the technicians and instructors for the car seat installation program and he's going to walk through a little bit of the basics of the program and then we're going to take a look inside my vehicle and make sure this car seat's set up correctly. Firefighter Berger, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. So yeah, with the car seat program here in Lexington, you know, even during the pandemic when we had to shut stations down and we couldn't allow visitors and things like that, this was one of the only things that we could still allow people to come in and make sure because it's, it's such an important program to make sure that kids are safe out on the road. Um, even over the last three years alone, um, to date, from 2019 until currently today, we've installed 922 seats for uh, you know the public. It's imperative that people come out because a lot of times there's information that just kind of seems to kind of get past and, and, and slip through the cracks. So we like to make sure that when the parent comes in or the grandparent or, or the guardian, that they feel comfortable and they, they feel knowledgeable when they leave our station that, that they know that their child's going to be safe and that if they have to switch that car seat out to a different vehicle or something like that, that they've got the knowledge and the skills to make it happen. The great thing about this program is, is we actually have six convenient locations throughout Lexington that you can come. We have 61 car seat technicians on the fire department right now that can uh, make sure that you get taken care of. So, I mean, if you want, we can take a look at your car seat right now and, and make sure it's installed correctly. Absolutely. Right, so looks like you've got your car seat already installed. A lot of times we have parents that come in and they're already installed. If they're installed correctly, that's great. Um, if not, sometimes we have to walk them through it and make sure that, that they have it installed correctly before they leave. Well, so that we make sure that I've done it right and that I'm educated on it, let's, uh, let's have yep. you start from scratch here. All right, so you know, we've got here, we've got a rear facing only seat. Um, so before I did anything, it's on a base. So I'm actually going to take the seat out itself. That way I can see the base and I can work on, on the car seat base itself. A lot of times we'll have people come in that still have the car seat in the box or they might have it installed. So we see it all different types of ways. Uh, see here, you've already got yours installed. So the first thing I would do is I'd make sure that the seat base itself is level. All right. The good thing about any car seat, depending, it doesn't matter price, it doesn't matter. They're always going to have a way to make sure that the seat is level. You're going to have a ton of information on the seat alone, whether it's on the base, you'll have information that's on the side of the seat showing how much weight the child can be before you have to switch to a different seat. They have a ton of information. A lot of times you'll want to make sure that you go through that uh, owner's manual of that seat so you know exactly how it functions along with your car seat, or I mean your car manual um, to make sure that you have all that information as well. Now, after we look at that type of stuff, we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna make sure you don't wanna have any more than an inch of movement at the belt path. 
So I would come in here and I can see right now that your, your car seat is, is installed correctly. You don't have any movement here at the belt path. And a lot of times parents will be like, well, it moves a lot up here. In rear facing only seats, it's gonna do that. We don't have any way to, to, to make sure that it's real tight at the, the end of the seat. That's why it's always imperative that you make sure that it's installed correctly and that there's no movement at the belt path more than one inch. So we don't have any, any movement whatsoever. The car seat is level, as you can see. We've got a level indicator here and on the side here. So this car seat's installed correctly. Now, for some reason, if, if it wasn't installed correctly, I would actually uninstall this, uninstall this base. I would walk you through it, and then I would actually take it back out, and I'd have you install it before you leave. Because I'm a teacher, I'm not an installer. Sure. So I wanna make sure that when the parent leaves, they've got the knowledge and the confidence, again, to know that they're putting it in correctly and that their child is gonna be safe when they're out on the roads. Sure. So, and I know some of these bases and these car seats have different ways that you can in, install them in your car. And it looks, I've used some clips here that came with this particular manufacturer, yep. but also the belts. Could you show us a little bit about using the belt mm -hmm. in this particular situation? Yep, so this seat right here, you've actually got it with the latches down at the bottom. That's a great way to keep it installed. It, it is super safe, just as the seat belt would be. Uh, if you decided, I don't wanna, I don't wanna use the latch system. I want to use the, the seat belt. Well, we would take it out. We'd make sure that we put the the clips back in their appropriate storage. And I'd actually take your seat belt here because this car seat has a built a, built in lock off system. So I would take your seat belt. I'd run it through. I buckle the seat in. I'm gonna pull the slack out of the seat belt. Maintaining, making sure that the base stays level. And you use that lock off system right there. And you can see, even with the seat belt, we have no movement. It's just as safe. They've both been crash test rated. A lot of times we'll have parents come in and sometimes they have the latch and the seat belt and their thing is as well, both of them have got to be safer. Two's better than one. Well in this instance, that's not the case. These two systems do not work together. They're separate working things. They've never been crash test rated as a, as a, a tandem, uh, tandem uh, safety precaution. So you wanna make sure when you install a seat that you choose either the seat belt method or the latch method. So, but again, these, these are a couple different ways and, and most seats are always gonna have several different ways that you can actually put the seat in. Uh, a lot of people, when they bring in forward facing, which we can see you've got rear facing, it's gonna be a while before you go forward facing. But we see, of course, with seeing almost a thousand people over the last three years, we have a fair share of forwards facing seats. And they'll come in and they'll wanna use these latches here at the bottom, the anchors. A lot of people don't realize though is when the child gets bigger, when that child's weight and the car seat weight exceed 65 pounds, that these anchors here at the bottom have never been crash test rated. So you have to use the seat belt at that, at that point in time. Um, so, that, and, and the thing is, is a lot of times people will forget over time, they might've heard that somewhere, they might've read it, and it just slips their mind. But when they come in, you know, I, Last year alone, I installed 40, 40 car seats on my own. Um, I've had probably 200 hours of training on this type of stuff. And a along with the rest of the firefighters out on the line, they've got a ton of knowledge and they, and they can make sure that they refresh your memory or share some new, new information that you might not have. Well, I think that's what's important. I mean, you certainly want to make sure that the car seat's installed correctly, but also the education piece and things that you can learn that you otherwise wouldn't have mm -hmm. the opportunity to learn and uh, that you all have developed the program to make yourselves uh, educated yep. on those issues. Yep, so, uh, you know, we're of course all certified through Safe Kids. Uh, it's a 40 hour course to become 
a technician. So you take you actually take three written exams during that 40 hour course. You take three uh, skill exams, and then you have a final test out uh, where you actually we open it up to the public, and we ask the public to come out and we'll install seats for them. So a lot of times we'll do that out at Bye Bye Baby over in Hamburg. Um, so we do that a couple times a year. This is a, a revolving door. A lot of times when firefighters end up on those car seat trucks, they're asked to become car seat technicians. So that way we ensure that somebody in the city, if you call and you're, I'm, I'm rushing to the hospital right now, I need help, can somebody, you know, dads a lot. But mom will be in the hospital and dads are calling, hey, uh, we're at the hospital, we're taking baby home tomorrow, can we come and get the car seat put in? And we try to be as accommodating as possible to make sure that, that the seat's installed correctly and that, that you're gonna get baby home safe. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate it, Firefighter. Yep. I now feel more confident that uh, my child's riding safely yep. and I feel uh, educated about it. Would you tell us where are the uh, uh, stations where yep. people can come and get tested? So we've got six convenient locations throughout the city. You can actually get these done at our community services office, ladder one at station one, ladder three at station 10, ladder six right here at station number 21, engine 11 at station 11, and engine 16 at station 16. All right, well, Chief, thanks again for joining us and for uh, helping me to highlight a, a valuable program that you all do. Thanks for everything that the Lexington Fire Department does to keep us safe. Thank you.